So the woman who have the issue, press. The woman who have the issue of blood, what? Press. So my beloved, ah, something, something, I feel something in here. It's time for the believers to push. Amen. Man, push. Woman, push, push, push. Don't let the baby die. Push. You are giving birth. So push, push. When a woman is struggling and the doctor said, push, 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 push. Don't let if you don't push that baby gonna die. Or if you don't push, the doctor gonna cut you wide open. Do you want to be cut? Jesus. Do you want to get messed up? Jesus. But you gotta push. Somebody said push. push. Don't let the baby die. Come on. Push. push. You don't want the baby to die, so push. push. Come on, push. Come on, push. Come on, church. Push. Push for your deliverance. Push for your miracle. Push for your life. Push for your body. Push for your house. Push for your husband. Push for your car. Push for your marriage. Wow! Hey, 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 hey! You gotta push. Don't abort the baby. Don't abort. Some folks abort the baby. They don't want to push. My God, my God. Wow. Don't let the doctor cut you open. Take the baby out when you can push. push, push. Uh -huh. Shabba push. I need somebody who can push. I need somebody who can push. The songwriter said, Down on my knee when sorrow arrives. I must have a little talk with Jesus. Down on my knee. Sometimes you have to go down on your knee and push. Push. Give her to ministry. Give. Some of you have your, your, your ministry and your ministry locked up inside of you because you are not pushing. Hey! Come on, come on, come on. Push it out. Give her. Give her. God has called you, but you sit down so dignified. You're so sanctimonious. Give her to ministry. Give birth! Hey! Give birth! Push! 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 Every time I talk Hallelujah, Jesus. to your pastor, I said to him, the ministry what you have Worship God. Yes. Thousand of people. Yeah. 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 When you are called to the fivefold ministry, remember you are apostle. Look how far. Look at the apostle. Look at the four other fingers. Is that so far? Look up the Prophet, you know what the prophet do? Say so you, you, and you, and you. He pipes you out. Yes. But all you know that is a prophet. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes. Look, you saw this one. The evangelist. When the evangelist coming in church, he start up trouble. <laughs> <laughs> But I will tell that man there, oh, that man knows that the evangelist is tied up. Yes. Then the pastor come and smooth it down. Yes. Then the one with the teacher come and teach you yes. the word. Yes. But the apostle can cover all five. Yes. He's a teacher, he's a preacher. Yes. So when it's a pastor, pastor, he's a pastor. Evangelist, he's an evangelist. Yes. Prophet, he's a prophet. Yes. A prophet, he's a prophet. Because he carries the yes. We don't carry the fine. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 
So say, Jesus Christ is Lord over my life. Come on, everybody say, Jesus Christ is Lord over my life. Glory to God. So you are under the umbrella. Yes. You are under the umbrella of the prophet. So you will prophesy. Why? Some of you, you know, if, if you start to pray and travail, mm -hmm. when you come into this house, revival break out. <laughs> you don't believe me? <laughs> Everyone that can start to pray for this month, they start to pray, pray, pray. Now you don't know what to pray, call, call my name. Lord bless Leroy, Leroy Williams. Bless him, bless him, bless his wife. Yes. Amen. Shabbat Shabbat. Amen. Hey! Uh, when you come here and start to pray like that, when you take the mic kick in and you can't preach, Holy Ghost take over. Holy Ghost take over. Holy Ghost take over. Holy Ghost take over. And then God, God starts to bless you financially, spiritually, intellectually, soberly, collectively. Doors of opportunity and divine favor start to open. You move the endurance. You move the stumbling back from around you. So you walk in the grace of God. Amen. Yes. Yes. Such a grace. Paul of such a grace. Jesus. But you got to pray, my beloved. Don't sit down and so dignify. Pray. Leaders, when you come to church, do we have any leaders here? Where's the leaders? Yeah. Please stop. When you, she wave on. When you come to church, as the leaders stand and she wave on. <laughs> when you come to church, what you supposed to do? When you come inside, stop. <laughs> Start to pray. Yeah. Or when somebody sit up and get up, pray. Hallelujah. That's why the dead man come inside. One miracle enough. Then bring one dead man come inside here. And when he pray and the dead man get up, the church full of people. Yeah. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. But you are the endurance. Who? Everybody say me. me. Oh, some of your co <laughs> Everybody say me. me. Say hi. hi. I'm the endurance. Oh, you said it. Some didn't say a word, but you said it. <laughs> So what you gonna do now? Pray. Yes. Yes. So when you're coming, why what, what the push? <laughs> so when, when when Pastor walk in, he said, what, what what's going on? Yes. As you open the door your night, you just push. Yes. And I remember when I had my ministry, we started I started ministry years ago. A little place. And we pray, we pray sometime at night, we just sleep on the floor, wow. and we start to Ooh. pray. People come into the church and when they sit down before the church start, this is a night you just keep them both like that. And you look, you see people crying. So why are you crying? Oh, as I sit down, I feel something just come over me. <laughs> we want it here. So everybody says, we want it here. Jesus, I give a praise. Let God do something. Yes. When you start to pray, let them call the fire truck because they say fire on the roof. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Yes. Our oh, church, my church, where I come from, Dr. B.G. Williams. Yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. People usually walk off the street, come into the church with a gun, right. with knife. Some of them come in the church with blood. Yeah. And just get through fight and cut up somebody. Yeah. They put the gun, the knife at the altar, yeah. and accept Jesus. My God. Everybody said they want it here. Yeah. Miracles and signs and wonders. Yeah. The Bible said, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devil. In my name, in my name. Yeah. Yeah. And we want when you're playing this angel take over your hand. 
Shalom Kuba Shalom. I was preaching in Jamaica. One month revival, me and my wife. But the next church, I was preaching at a different church, and um, I was praying for people. This guy came in of a bad leg. So after I prayed for him and blessed him, he started to walk properly. And I said, Neil, young man, I'm going to bless you. And when I blessed him, he went back to work. He worked in construction. And I said, look, we don't want you here on this side because you cannot work. You have a problem with your leg, you can't walk. And he said, I was in church and, and the pastor prayed for me. I'm healed. And he said, no, 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 no. Go back home. And he said, he picked up the foot and he, she did, she did, she did. God healed me. God healed me. Hey. And everybody started to give him, he leave here with thousand of dollar. Or when he come to the revival the next day, he started to testify. He said, the blessing just stopped. Because I released the blessed of God over him. When your night is shot, anything happened. I was in California preaching. And while I was preaching, as I take them, my people start to fall out, fall out in the spirit. Wow. That lady, it was mixed. A Caucasian lady fall out. And the apostle, a lot of them just fall out. And after church, my virgin, after church, the lady still there on the floor. I said, Lord Jesus, we have something wrong with this woman. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody know inside, I was wondering what happened to this woman. Why she, you know, lying down there still. So I, I walk over with boldness. I said, no, I said to them, pick her up. Put her in the chair. I put her in the chair, man. Yeah. <laughs> said, something wrong with this woman. <laughs> So I walk over to her and say, In the name of Jesus Christ, I've done a call of it. Yes. She, oh. yeah. wow. and she said, Why did you call me back? She said, I was in heaven. Wow. And I was talking to Jesus. Oh. And she said, Jesus gave me a message to give you. Wow. Oh. Oh. And she gave me the message. When the woman was going home, she could drive only about 15 miles per hour. Next day, she said, when she reached her house, she said she could not come out of the car because the glory of God. Somebody said, the glory of God. We, 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 we need the kind of glory in this house. We need the presence of God. We want to live in that glory, that glory, that, 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 that glory over, over our shoulders. He brought me to his back of his house and his banner over me with love. Yes, we need to experience that, my beloved. My beloved, wake up. We need to experience yes. it. Yes. But we got to pray. Yes. We enter the place of God. Because we are too dignified. We are not praying. We are not seeking God. What is this? Oh, Father, what in heaven, I will be dying in thy kingdom come. And you say that people lie down in your bed. What is that? What is that, my beloved? Do you know who you are? Mm. See that jealous of you right now. Yes. He has no chance. Yes. And we are playing fool in church. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. to praise God. Pump it to preach. Pump it to come to church. Yes. Sister JJ, are you come to church? Are you coming to church? Come on. Preach, yeah. come on. There was a lady in Miami. The pastor would leave from Miami go to Fort Lauderdale every Sunday and pick her up and bring her to church. Mm. It's so hot that God blessed this woman with a brand new car. Yeah, so the pastor could thank God. Yeah. I'd have to drive all the way to Fort Lauderdale to pick up this lady to bring her to church. Amen. Weeks went by, the pastor realized that this woman had come into church 
And when the pastor, Sister Mary, why are you not coming to church? I'm seen in a while, Sister Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what she said? Yeah. Pastor, I don't want to put on those mileage on my, my new car. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> mileage. Wow. Wow. She can't come to church, but Pastor was driving his old car to go and pick her up every yeah. Sunday. Some of us are just. Some of us are just. Some of us are just. You don't want to say it. All right, say ouch. Do you know why God cannot bless some of us? He, he cannot unite some of us? We cannot be trusted. Some of us, we cannot be trusted when we are 19. Amen. Some of us cannot be trusted with money. Money turn us fool. When God want to bless us. I was praying for a lady. No, a man. He got a dream about a frog. And the Holy Spirit gave the interpretation of the dream, what he has. And then the Lord said, I said to him, I see, I see a wife. God wants to bless you with a wife. And when you see the wife, she's going to have long hair. She's going to have a light complexion. She's going to have a chain around her neck. Do you remember the prophecy, wifey? And at the end of the chain, there's going to be a star. He was playing the drum set for me at the time. Man of God, when church over, he went to my wife, go to his wallet, take out the picture with his beautiful lady. Long hair. Like a complexion with a chain around her neck and a star. She has the picture. I did not know, but would go see it. Yes. The next Sunday, it was nowhere to be found. But the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, and the word of wisdom, God gave me a word of wisdom. He said, I, God, going to bring it to pass. The man didn't come back to church. He rolled gone and looked for the woman to bring it to pass. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Some of us, God can't trust us. Yeah. He can't trust us with his anointing. <laughs> if you remember, there was a lady coming to church. Dr. Peter Williams. And God use our bishop powerful Reverend B.T. Williams yes. Pastor Williams though God I never see a next man can preach like that man I never see no man right. when that man preach his, his, his suit water draining from his yeah. suit wow. dripping his suit Powerhouse. when we have baptism 100 people yeah. Yeah. every time baptism 100 people mm -hmm. yeah. you know him I know. Yes. Oh, 